Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props and today we are going to be embarking on a project I have been wanting to tackle for a long time. We are going to be building our very own Ghostbusters Proton Pack. And before we get going on the build, I want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video series. This is going to be a fun one. I'm getting some things from PCBWay that are going to make this project. It's going to take it to the next level. And if you want to see what PCBWay has to offer, head over to PCBWay.com. And I got to tell you, you can get pretty much anything done over here. We got PCB prototyping, assembly, uh, Rigiflex, FPC advanced PCB. So if you're doing any type of electronics work and you need to build your own boards, you can do that. And of course, the thing I'm most interested in over here is CNC and 3D printing. Of course, we're using a really cool piece that we got from them, that aluminum motherboard, which you're going to see in a little bit. But there's awesome 3D printing that you can get done here. I've got a project I'm dying to do. I know what you're saying, Kevin, you've got a ton of 3D printers. Why do you need someone to do it? It is a large, large file, much larger than the resin printers that I have. And I am really, really excited to see what PCB has to offer when it comes to large scale 3D printing. Okay, so I have been a huge Ghostbusters fans, like I think a lot of people out there, obviously, since I first saw this in the theater and then, yes, at a drive-in. Yes, I'm that old. No, it, it wasn't a car. It wasn't in a uh, horse and buggy. But uh, yeah, it was a drive-in and it was pretty awesome. <laughs> so I go to a lot of cons and I see these guys and all their Ghostbuster gear and their proton packs and the lights and everything. And I said, this is going to be the perfect project. It's a movie I love. It's a franchise I love and been wanting to build one for a while. And it really combines everything I really love, which is the research, the uh, 3D printing. So this is a Q-Pack, and I'm gonna have links to the GitHub below to the amazing creator who put this file together and all its different variations. So you can download that and get started if you wanna work through this. And it was a joy to print, easy to print, great instructions. Links to everything will be below that I used for this, including the filament, the printers, and of course, the files and instructions and PCB way. So again, it has everything I love, which is 3D printing. I had the mixed media here. I got resin, I got uh, FDM, but it also is gonna include uh, Arduino work. It's gonna include a lot of electronics, which are you know, uh, a blessing and a curse. I really enjoy it, but it can be super frustrating uh, with getting the wiring correct and for my eyes to be able to see all those little tiny numbers on all those little tiny pieces of, uh, pieces of, uh, uh, technology, those little boards and things. It's really, really hard for me to see that stuff. I wear magnifying glasses so that I can, but it's fun and frustrating. But so far this project has been a joy. I've really enjoyed it. So what I'm going to show you today is the, uh, how we printed and uh, painted and got this thing ready. I also want to show off one of the one things you can't really print with this, of course, the electronics you can't, but the backing of this is called the motherboard. And it could be made out of cardboard, but I said, why make it out of cardboard when PCB Way is sponsoring this video and I can have them cut and mill the holes in it for the screws and everything to mount a sheet of aluminum. So this is a sheet of aluminum that I then painted, we're gonna see how I did that, that is gonna back this uh, proton pack and wand. And it is super sturdy, super smooth. It is just an amazing piece to have. So I'm not rigging something together with a piece of Luon or a piece of uh, plywood or particle board. This is what was used, an aluminum sheet, and PCB Way really stepped up and got me this, cut this, and sent it to me. Very, very excited to show this thing off. So let's hurry up. Let's get behind the fake wall and a lot of outside because a lot of sanding is going on. And I didn't want that much dust in the shop. So a lot of it's happening outside. So let's get busy. Let's get to work. And let's start our Ghostbusters Proton Pack. <music> Now, I love this sander. It is air powered, so you need a compressor. I got it at Harbor Freight. 
but as you can see it just takes away layer lines like nothing and I've got it in uh, all the grits so I started off with a 120 then went to 220 then 320 then a 400 and then went ahead and primed them all and I used the two-in-one fill primer and that stuff works like a dream and these are all the big parts there's still more parts I need to print and actually sand but now we're going to go ahead and plug up all these really larger blemishes with this uh, U-Pol. I love the stuff. It dries super fast. It's like a polyester based. And I just use a piece of foam to spread that on. And it's nice and smooth. It dries really fast and super hard and sands really, really well. And since this is being textured anyway, you know, I'm not too worried. Now, this, again, this was really not good. You can see how rough that looks. Uh, the orientation, I should never print it at that side down, but I'm pretty sure that through uh, using the spot putty and sanding, I can make that look just like smooth as glass or pretty darn close to it. And if not, I'm just going to have to reprint it, but that's okay. Now make sure you use gloves with this stuff. Uh, like anything, it's a chemical and you don't really want it to keep it on your fingers. Now we're going to start putting this together. And I'm just punching through these holes to make sure I can get screws through. And if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing a bathrobe because it is 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I'm about to go up and take a shower before work. But I thought I'd get this done before that <laughs> and it is if you're wondering it is a doctor who tardis uh bathrobe that my son got me many many years ago and i love it so i went ahead and put one screw in and then sort of pulled up on one side and then the other and i'm adding epoxy this is just a two-part quick epoxy and using this screw gun to drive these screws through and just adding some clamps to make sure everything stays in place uh, a lot of things connect to this so i really wanted this to uh, really be sturdy so all the screws are in there i'm using m320 screws for most of this and again here this is a really large portion and yes this will all be attached to the motherboard but you know you want things to be really really sturdy when you're working on something like this and uh, i put the epoxy everywhere i started the screws and then i went ahead and just drove all those suckers home with a clamp sort of holding things in place while i got things lined up and then afterwards i left the clamps on for the full you know maybe half an hour i think and got all these other parts ready and this isn't even all of them but they're all primed and ready to go again there are still more now there are instructions for this the guy who created the q-pack has instructions for this on etsy and uh, i will put a link for that over in the description now i'm just going ahead and putting all these other parts on some i'm gluing on uh, others i'm just screwing in and not adding any glue now before we go ahead and print this we need to do some taping now i did make a mistake uh, i put all these parts on and then i realized oh wait not everything gets this textured paint that i'm using it's a rust-oleum textured paint so i had to go ahead and tape off a lot because none of that stuff actually the tubes and everything gets that texture so i just taped all those up so if you don't want to do this you don't want to make this mistake and have to tape all that just go ahead and add this texture paint uh, before you do that then add those things on but taping it didn't take too long and it was fine now i'm standing back at the distance the can recommends and i'm just sort of giving it little shots because you don't want to overdo it and now we're going to go ahead and prime the motherboard and i'm using a self etching primer it's good for metal because it sort of does just what it says it etches into the metal so that the paint has something really to hold on to and uh, this is green it's just what they had at lowe's but we're going to go ahead and paint it black afterwards of course so we don't have to worry about it and man it's just look how smooth that aluminum is oh love it now we're going to go ahead and put on some of these other parts that i painted uh, primed and painted later on like this and wow this is totally starting to look like a proton pack now we're going to just use a black rust-oleum to hit all these pieces that i went ahead and taped off and some of the other pieces back there that need to get added later and the good thing is since the texturized paint is black it's cool it doesn't matter if i get a little bit on the texture 
Now I'm putting on some of the other parts that I've already primed and painted. And these are just little pieces and parts that, uh, you know, again, I thought I had printed, but I hadn't. So I went ahead and did that. Some of them I'm just adding with some epoxy. Uh, I didn't feel need to add a screws to these little two guys. And this one here gets just a screw because they really held in there tight. And we're going to put this little clamp in. Again, no need for a screw. I just went ahead and used the epoxy. Happy with that. And this little piece, again, a lot of these little pieces, you see holes in them, uh, in the tops, sometimes in the sides. Those are going to get like fittings and tubes. And really excited when those things start going in because it'll really help bring it together. So here's the last piece we're going to put on. And again, there are more things we need to add. But right now, these are the main plastic painted parts that go on to this proton pack. So that was a lot of sanding. I have to say I did not enjoy that, but the air compressed sander really saved my hands with my arthritis. Uh, I do not think that I could have handled all that sanding. And there's more sanding because you might notice, yes, this is the proton pack. Where is the wand? working on the wand, printing it up now. You might be able to hear the printers going. So the next video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working on the proton pack wand, the emitter. We're gonna be working on that, putting that together and seeing how it attaches to the proton pack. Next video up after that is gonna be um, electronics or adding all the little greeblies and stuff. I've got to think about what's the best way to proceed as far as assembling things. I think I want to get the electronics roughed out and wired up. Don't put them in yet. And then add all the little pieces, parts, the lenses for the LED to shine through so I can see how much wiring I need and then move forward to actually the full assembly. The last video will be adding this awesome PCB way cut aluminum motherboard to the back, getting everything put together and putting the Q pack, the, the backpack together. So about two or three more videos to finish this guy up. And then we will probably take a break from this. And then we'll move on to at some point in the future when I'm done referencing things and finding all the research I'm going through, actually doing a suit up where uh, I pick up all the uh, clothing and other accoutrements for the cosplay. So yeah, really looking forward to that part. Cause again, I love the research. Uh, I don't love spending the money, but I love the research. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Please check out the links below, especially PCB way. If you're looking for any 3d printing, uh, CNC work or custom PCBs that you might need for any electronics work, they have been a joy to work with. And I will definitely be contact contacting them in the future for more work. Take it easy guys. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.